So recently I've been interested in trying to create an AI for a turn-based game. Um, so for the first one I picked Tic-Tac-Toe, since that's a pretty simple game, so it should be pretty easy to make the AI. So this is my adventure of making my first turn-based game AI in Tic-Tac-Toe. I started with making a very simple Tic-Tac-Toe game in Unity, using buttons and text to display the actual um, pieces. And this went pretty well, and after a few bugs <laughs> and glitches, I eventually got it working. So then we had a fully functional tic-tac-toe game. I then added some post-processing to spice up the graphics a little bit. Then I started working on the actual AI. I first started with a very easy AI, which just put moves randomly. That's what I typically like to do, because I think it's fun to sometimes mess around with an AI that doesn't know anything. <laughs> And then I started working on a medium AI, and that was a bit more difficult. Now, the code was very inefficient, but it worked a little bit. Um, and actually, at the time, I'm pretty sure it was called an easy AI. <laughs> but anyway, um, I started working on that, but it was a very inefficient code. But it did work for what it was. Then, when I made the impossible AI, I ran into a big issue. We were only four moves into the um, looking into the future. That didn't make any sense, but you know what I meant. <laughs> and it was all, I was already having errors in Unity crashing because I ran out of memory. <laughs> so this was obviously an issue that needed to be fixed. But I had no idea how, especially since we were only four layers into the AI. So I um, gave up, but after a few days, my curiosity came back to me and I found this video about a minimax algorithm. Now, this video only gave me pseudocode, so I decided to try to translate that into C-sharp in my tic-tac-toe program. After a little while, I eventually managed to make it. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't recording, so I can't give you a cool time lapse of it, but that's okay. I did have a bunch of bugs, usually just me accidentally typing I instead of spaces um, in nested for loops, but eventually I made it. Um, here's the code here, it's pretty simple. And then I converted all the other AIs to use this thing as well. All you have to do is put in the depth um, for each of the difficulties and then let it run. For the easiest difficulty, which is very easy, I just put the depth to one. So all it is doing is checking its move so it will never try to predict any of the opponent's moves, which means that it will never actually try to block the um, opponent's moves. However, if it is able to win, it will win. <laughs> That's about it. For the easy AI, it can look two moves into the future, which means that it can look for its move and then the opponent's next move. So that way it can block moves as well as win the medium AI looks uh, has a depth of 4, so that means that it will look for its move, the opponent's next move, and then its next move, and the opponent's move after that. So that makes it very difficult to actually beat the AI, but it is still possible to trick it. Finally, for the impossible AI, I gave it a depth of 9. Um, the tic-tac-toe board only has nine spaces, meaning that it will always be able to look for every possible move for the entire rest of the game. This makes it literally impossible to beat, as there are many combinations in tic-tac-toe games where nobody wins. I then made it so that the AIs are able to play against each other, as well as adding a configurable time between AI moves. And that led up to a pretty interesting result and like I expected, none of them ever win. And that's about all I have for this video. Now this is a pretty new type of video for me, so if you like these programming videos, please tell me in the comments below, because I have some more plans for some more if people enjoy them. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a like and a comment in the section below and subscribe to me if you're not already for more videos. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.